Tracking Verizon just out with numbers as well. It looks like Verizon is out with an adjusted number of $1.13 a share. That would be a miss of the consensus by one penny. Uh, taking a look at the revenue line, operating, uh, uh, yeah, taking a look through some of the revenue lines on this and, and trying to get to what they're looking at. Hans Vesberg, the chairman and CEO, says that the company delivered strong operational performance in the fourth quarter. He said it was highlighted by continued wireless customer growth in both its consumer and business units. If you look at those two, the consumer business group wireless results, they added 1.2 million retail postpaid net additions, including 969,000 postpaid smartphone net additions. Um, net additions for the quarter were 790,000, marking the highest fourth quarter phone net additions in six years. Um, Looking at the guidance here, low to single mid-digit uh, percentage growth in consolidated revenues compared to 2019. They're saying their adjusted EPS growth, non-GAAP, they're planning up between 2 and 4 percent. And then they're talking about capital spending in the range of between 17 and 18 billion dollars, including what they say will be the expansion of 5G in new and existing markets, um, the diversica diversification of 4G, and the continuation of the fiber build-out. Uh, finally, they talk about their 2020 adjusted effective income tax rate. Uh, to be projected now in the range between 23 and 25 percent. We'll get you some of the comps about what was expected by investors.